Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the ever popular Reef Galleria and Cafe in the CBD of Melbourne. All right, so thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs, and we're getting near the end of my local fish shop crawl that I did before Melbourne went into lockdown. I managed to sneak Reef Galleria and Cafe in just at the end of the day. Unfortunately, I was an hour before the new shipment came in and I just couldn't stay long enough. So you can imagine that the tanks in this tour are gonna to be full of new coral and fish, but uh, nonetheless, there's plenty to feast on, including their incredible display tanks. So I couldn't help but grab the camera, give you guys a bit of a tour around the store and you can check out all of the livestock and dry goods. Let's roll the footage. All right, here we are in South Melbourne, Reef Galleria Aquarium and Cafe. I do love that purple tang logo, it's so iconic, and you can see their hours of operation here. I am here quite late on a Friday night, and like I mentioned in the intro, the team are expecting a delivery soon, but I don't think I can wait quite long enough for that delivery. But in the meantime, we will check out what is available in store. Now, you're first straight away greeted by some dry goods here, including some Vitalis Foods and some uh, Fauna Marine and Reef Antibiotic Supplements. There's also some Aquaforest there, some Auto Aqua Stirrers. And in this little display tank here, we've got some incredible little uh, seahorse here. These guys camouflage in very nicely with some of those uh, Gorgonians and uh, other non-photosynthetic corals in there. But uh, there are heaps of them. Once you look around, all these little white knight seahorses and some other types there, absolutely gorgeous. We come over to the left and we see some more dry goods over here, including some uh, Apex equipment. We've got coral essentials there, some more uh, fauna marine supplements. The team also have a huge assortment here of the Triton reagents and Manta skimmers, which I recently reviewed. So uh, if you are looking for a Manta skimmer in Melbourne, Reef Galleria are carrying them. You can also see down here, we've got some nets. We've got the Triton range of uh, trace elements, all of those individual elements there, uh, all available to purchase, which is very, very handy. I will keep that in mind, as well as some of their other products like their DI resin and their calcium and pre-mixed supplements. You've got the full Dr. Tim's range there. We've got some Mantis biofilter blocks. And uh, what else can we find up here? We've got some aquaforest, we've got some aquarium systems packages there, some of their uh, cyano and phosphate solutions, addicted to fish uh, cutters and tweezers and various things like that. We've got some Hanna items, including some checkers and some reagents. We've also got some two little fishies magnetic clips, which I do realize now are available in shops again, but uh, for a little while there was a shortage in Australia. So uh, at that point of videoing, that was fairly unique. Heading on over into this tank here, speaking of unique, we've got some gorgeous fish in here from a uh, coal tang, purple tang, vitralis, um, vitralis anthus there looking absolutely stunning. And of course a yellow tang in there as well. So um, livestock alone in this tank is worth an absolute killing just due to the rarity of these items at the moment. And uh, while they all look so healthy and uh, full of life, really nice colors in those fish, very, very nice indeed. There's a few bits and pieces in there as well, like some bubble corals and frog spawns and stuff. Once we look up above that tank, we'll see some uh, Rosmont products, some uh, reef antibiotic additions. There's some Vortex there. There's some uh, aqua forest reactors, some Nero pumps. But let's have a look at the uh, corals that are in before the delivery arrives. Got a great assortment there of some Helios, some standard fungias. We've got some nice torches there, some frog spawns and hammers. Coming across into some elegance, you can see some uh, non-photosynthetic corals up there. We've got some acans, um, including some colonies and some fragged acans. There's a nice dunk in there, a few different types of duncans actually. Quite a few nice deshies as well as some red cyanarias. Come around here, we'll have a, a bit of a look at the fish in this system here. Lovely purple tang, some wrasse, a nice flameback angel, I do like them. He's in there at 240. Gorgeous little fish uh, for someone looking for a uh, fairly unique little dwarf angel there. And some blue tangs as well. Uh, very nice looking fish. Gorgeous coral beauty in there as well. Uh, over into this system here, we've got uh, some antheas. We've got Moorish idols, beautiful butterfly there. Um, another blue tang. There's some barrier reef chromis. 
up into this one, we've got uh, some more of the same, including a tiny little uh, sailfin tang there. Look how small he is compared to the uh, Chromis in the system. Over here, we've got a uh, bunch of Ocellaris clowns there. Also some, uh, looks like some black and white snowflakes. Some very nice. Uh, we've got Midnights, Mockers, Black Snowflakes, Orange Ockies. Good assortment of clowns to pick from there. Got some more clowns down here. Looks like we've got uh, some Picassos, I'm guessing there. Uh, looks like maybe some uh, Platinums as well. Very, very nice assortment of clownfish indeed. Prices all available there on the window. Uh, over into this system here, and I believe we have peppermint shrimp and red line cleaner shrimp, all in there doing their thing. All available, happy days, 160 on the red line cleaner shrimp. That's one for our American friends who think that uh, everything reefing in Australia is cheap. Not the case. And then up into this system here, we've got a bunch of gorgeous looking seahorse. Uh, these guys are a different variety, I believe, from the ones in the display tank at the uh, counter. Equally as beautiful though. Now let's have a look at uh, some of the corals in here. There's obviously a lot of room for the corals that are just about to arrive, but uh, I wanted to show you these deshies in here because, um, wow, there's some stunners in there. Check out some of those yellow deshies there and they're really enjoying the flow in there. They just got their, uh, their flubber just sort of dancing around. Some gorgeous scollies there, including that one with the yellow ring. We've got some nice hammers, some gonies. That uh, $250 hammer there is particularly bright. I'd say it's a mottle, but it's mostly a solid green. That 170 one there has got a fair bit of yellow through it in the model. And then uh, some other options that are considerably cheaper too. We're talking 55, 75, 85 for hammers there. There's some Acropora colonies in there. There's some hammer frags, some goni frags, um, all sorts of bits and pieces in there, including some clams. Now we come over to this side. We've got a few bits and pieces in here, some frags. Um, we've got a lot of uh, uh, zoas in here. Looks like we've got uh, some Samacora frags, maybe some Recordias. Uh, some trackies, a few uh, just grow out zoas and pallies in here by the looks, just uh, doing their thing. But I did want to show you at the end of this tank, there is the new Evolution Aqua range of UVs. And these guys, I know they look pretty serious. They're a big unit. It's the first time I've seen one in person and um, it looks pretty impressive. I'm keen to do some reading on those and find out uh, just some of the more technical details on them. But uh, having seen them in person now, they look a solid bit of gear. So uh, that was always nice to see as well as the Aquaforest starter pack, of course. We'll have a quick look at the corals in this system here. You can see nice bright green recordia in there, some nice orange recordias, good assortment of different types of zoas. See some uh, red line cleaner shrimp in there just uh, scurrying away, some xenia frags there. Uh, we've got some acans, nice bigger uh, elephant ears, some various leathers. Just before we wrap up, I've got to show you this display tank because it has always been the showpiece of uh, Reef Galleria Aquarium and Cafe with this gorgeous school of purple tangs in there. A gorgeous big sailfin, you see blue face angel in there, gem tang, flame back. It is an L-shaped tank and we can have a look from the other side as well just so you can really take it in. It absolutely uh, frames off that room on the inside there. Perfect for uh, a nice uh, meeting with, um, I don't know, a client or something. You can sit in there with a bit of privacy but also take in the beauty of this fish tank and um, it is really nice. Check out that gorgeous big... Uh, Blonde, oh sorry, not a blonde, just a Naso tang in there. Absolutely stunning, the big streamers off the back. Big fat fish indeed. Some nice bright red uh, morphs in there. We've got some Xenia pulsing away on the rock there. Some leathers. I imagine some of the fish in here like to munch on these corals. So uh, the team have gone some, for some fairly easily uh, propagated corals in there, which is understandable. But all in all, what a beautiful piece. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the tour of Reef Galleria and Cafe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback for either myself or the team at Reef Galleria Cafe, feel free to pop in the comment section down below. As you know, I personally reply to each and every comment there, so it is the best way to get hold of me. Other than that, guys, I will leave things at that. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, you know what to do. Till next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing. Bye.